photography too. But I don't have one of them. <laughs> right. Yes, indeed. So I wrote home for a little I saw a picture of you, uh, I think on your page, you was on, on a plane with Lennon, John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where were you coming from on that? Uh, we were on tour. I was on the 65 tour with them. 14 days. With the Beatles? Mm-hmm. I was with King Curtis. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did you meet, Did you? was that when Jimmy Hendrix was playing with him? No, uh-uh. Was, okay, was that after, probably 65, that was after It was before. That. It was before? Yeah, probably. Because they became kind of psychedelic after that. Start using dope and stuff, you know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, back in the they were clean-cut boys, though. When you know, during that period, uh, you know, our first uh, concert was in Shea Stadium, and uh, we had over sixty thousand people there at at Shea Stadium that night, and that was our first show. Wow. Yeah. So you was at the Shea Stadium concert? Yeah, yeah. I also saw um, last week at the tribute you had a picture of you and Gordon Parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was, uh, I was Gordon Parks. Oh man, Gordon Parks. He gave, he sent me a message to Sweets Edison. He told, he told that. Uh, he sent me a message, and I gave it to Sweets. You know, he said something funny, but I forget what it was. But he was. Yeah, I was in his hometown when uh, they shot that. I was in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, I went to an exhibit of his. Yeah, he's a he's an excellent photographer. Huh? So he's a great, excellent photographer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And he he had some pictures there. So how did you get hooked up with the Beatles? Then? Uh, well, King Curtis. See, I was in King Curtis's group. And uh, King Curtis called me in Atlantic City. I was I settled down in Atlantic City for the summer at the Club Harlem. And uh, and King Curtis called me. He says, "Man, you want to go and make a tour with me?" I said, "What tour?" He says, "We're going out with the Beatles." <laughs> I said, "Okay." So uh, I gave the band leader three hundred bucks, and uh, he said, "Yeah, go ahead. Just put somebody in your place." You know how I got in my place? Jimmy Heath. Jimmy Heath came down and, and uh, sat in for me for the whole 14 days. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we went to Shea Stadium. We went to the, the Brave Stadium down in Atlanta before they did, because the paint was still wet when we went in that, on that. Then we went to Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field in Chicago, and then we played the Hollywood Bowl two nights, and uh, and then the the Cow Palace in San Francisco. Man, you yeah, in all the big places. Yeah. Then we went on up uh, north. We went up into uh, Portland, Oregon, up in there. Played a concert up there. And then we went into Canada. We went to, we played Toronto and Montreal. It was big fun, though. It was, you know, it was a, it was a nice show. Nice show. We had, uh, well, one of the guys just died that was in our group, Cornell Dupree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah job Cornell, man. yeah, he just died. And <clears throat> Chuck Rainey, though, he's still living, bass player. And, uh, of course, King Curtis is gone. Ray Lucas, you ever run into Ray Lucas? Drummer. I haven't seen Ray in years. Man, he was, he was murder, man. Yeah, he could play. But he sort of retired, like, he gave up on music, you know. Which is not a good thing. No. No. Because, yeah. That's right. Good Lord gives you a gift. 
And uh, if you don't follow through with that gift, <laughs> yeah, that's when you, every time you go out there to sing, you go out there to go out and praise the Lord and, and take people's minds off their troubles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so like a ministry. It is ministry. Mm -hmm. It is ministry because the, the saxophone, uh, you know, they try to synthesize it, but they can't synthesize it. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm so, I feel so fortunate to have been given this gift because now I'm in my 55th year. Uh, in the business, and uh, and uh, he's always provided for me. You know, he kept a roof over my head and something to eat on the table. That's all I had. Yeah, that's you right. Lord. Yeah, right. Yeah. It ain't got to be steak and cabbage. Yeah. Just give me a pot yeah. of beans. I got to be rich. That's right. Just give me a pot of beans. No. Uh -uh. That's right. Because I, I know I'm rich in doing what he says do. You're rich when you bless others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you share, when people hear the melodic yeah. sounds of your horn, yeah, you can't put a price on that. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Some people would say it's priceless. Mm -hmm. 